Hey y'all, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about how to arrange your letters and place them so that the spacing is even, um, especially if you are including something that has a lot of letters in a word for your vision board. And I'm gonna use an example that I did, um, which is that I am working towards national board certification this year. So um, anyways, I wanna show you a non-example first. So I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where like, let's say for example, I wanna start with national and I am like, all right, cool. I'm gonna write my letters N-A-T-I-O-N. Oops, ran out of room. And I think that's a pretty, you know, that's a pretty typical thing to do. So what I would like is to teach you a strategy for avoiding that. Um, and I think just for my, self I would like to space or uh, orient it in landscape okay so what I'm gonna do to begin is to I'm gonna just divide my paper into three so that I know how oops, how far to space my words and um, okay because I need space for national board certification what I prefer to do is to actually count the letters in the word. So national has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. I misspoke and I count the letters. And what I do is I start with the ones in the middle. So for a word that has an even number of letters, I'll start with the center two. So in this case, it's I-O. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just to place the I and the O here. And now what I have is pretty is pretty even spacing for the remaining letters. Um, so I'm going to just finish writing this real quick. And here we go. Um, sometimes I will actually work backwards for the whole thing. You can do that if you want, not required, just, you know, personal preference. Okay, but this was much more successful because I've started with the letters in the center. I'm going to do this again with board. Board is a little easier. It has five letters. So I'm going to start with the letter A, which is the third one because it's the center. So if I have this, um, what I might want to do with this now is think about, all right, if I only have five letters here, maybe I need to like spread my, make my text a little bit flatter. So I'm trying to use the space as much as possible. And hopefully that will get me a good result. Um, okay, cool. Got this. And now certification, which is kind of a doozy. It has 13 letters. So I'm going to start with number seven, which is the letter I. Um, so again, you're start I want you to start with the middle letter because it really helps with knowing how to space the rest of your letters, especially if you have something long. So I'm going to say, um, okay, C-A-T-I-O-N. Okay. Okay, so I want to say that I have done these letters. They are messy. They're not, they're not very well done, but um, the point of today is going to be to just make sure that your letters for your words, for your vision board, are filling up the space like, in such a way that, you know, you're, you're using as much of the space as possible. Um, I will just, I'll just mention now that a couple of my spaces have like specifically images. Um, I will explain those a bit more tomorrow. For today, what I want you to think about really is just to place, place your words where you want them to go.